So we've just finished, uh, our students are learning about uh, ratios and ratios tables, so proportional relationships. We just finished um, learning how to compare two different sets of ratios or two different ratio tables. Um, and so as kind of a culmination of that small part of the unit, we have been um, comparing information from two different school districts. So our school district here in Franklin McKinley and then a school district up in Palo Alto. And so students get the information of how much each class, about a certain class size gets from each school district. And they have to find a way to compare that, that set of information. So they're finding in each school district how much money is spent per student. And so they're able to analyze that one school district is actually um, receiving a lot more money than another. And so from there, then they look at different maps and they're looking at different data such as uh, income, home prices, API scores in each area, and they're having to make a critical analysis and critical conclusions about what does that mean, right? And are schools equal? And so they're getting kind of to delve into school injustice um, through their learning um, of ratio tables. And the idea is that ratios are a tool and math is a tool that they can kind of try to make the world a better place. Um, the last step is to take action, right? And so then they're looking at um, how can they take action um, and work towards making steps in, towards this injustice and um, by planning some sort of action piece. I think lately there's been one student that comes to mind, her name is Glory. Um, she's part of uh, one of my sixth grade classes and she has, um, she tends to have a lot of attitude, very, um, very strong personality and came in more towards the apathetic side, a lot of bringing in a lot of attitude. But lately, um, I've just been seeing her really passionate about everything we're learning. Um, currently, we're doing a project where she can take action in the community, and she has been coming in every morning with additional information, right? And research she's done at home. And so, um, to see her running with the material that we've been doing in class has just been getting me so excited and thinking about how can I challenge her, push her more. Um, because when I'm pushing her more than the other students are following along so um, she's been one student that's just been inspiring me to even push myself further as a teacher and I've uh, yeah she's been keeping me up at night excited <laughs>